Today is Tuesday, October 8, 2024. I'm Pastor Michael, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Our first reading is from Psalm 112. May the Lord bless you as you receive his word. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who have respect for the Lord. They find great delight when they obey God's commands. Their children will be powerful in the land because they are honest. Their children will be blessed. Their family will have wealth and riches. They will always be blessed for doing what is right. Even in the darkness, light shines on honest people. It shines on those who are kind and tender and godly. Good things will come to those who are willing to lend freely. Good things will come to those who are fair in everything they do. Those who do what is right will always be secure. They will be remembered forever. They aren't afraid when bad news comes. They stand firm because they trust in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They aren't afraid. In the end, they will see their enemies destroyed. They have spread their gifts around to poor people. Their good works continue forever. They will be powerful and honored. Evil people will see it and be upset. They will grind their teeth and become weaker and weaker. What evil people long to do can't succeed. Our second reading is from 2 Corinthians 7, verse 1 through 9. Now I want to deal with the things you wrote me about. Some of you say it is good for a man not to sleep with a woman. But since sexual sin is happening, each man should sleep with his own wife, and each woman should sleep with her own husband. A husband should satisfy his wife's needs, and a wife should satisfy her husband's needs. The wife's body does not belong only to her, it also belongs to her husband. In the same way, the husband's body does not belong only to him, it also belongs to his wife. You shouldn't stop giving yourselves to each other. You might possibly do this when you both agree to it, and you should only agree to it to give yourselves time to pray. Then you should come together again. In that way, Satan will not tempt you when you can't control yourselves. I say these things to you as my advice, not as a command. I wish all of you were single like me. But you each have your own gift from God. One has this gift, and another has that one. I speak now to those who are not married. I also speak to widows. It is good for you to stay single like me. But if you can't control yourselves, you should get married. It is better to get married than to burn with desire. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As you journey on, go with his blessing. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. May Almighty God bless, preserve, and keep us this day and forevermore.